In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how we solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. In the previous lessons, we have looked at solving a quadratic equation by factorization, and also we have looked at solving a quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. Okay, so now we're going to do it by completing the square. Now, if you're not sure about what completing the square entails or what it is about, I would advise you to just go back and do a refresher's course by watching our playlist on completing the square to just catch up on, on stuff. Okay, now let's look at a typical um, exam question. You may be given a quadratic and you're asked to solve and how we would go about that using completing the square. So I'm just doing this out of my head now, so just bear with me a little. Uh, let's say I have 2x squared plus 4x minus 6, and that is equal to 0, because I'm working with uh, an equation. OK, good. Now, once the coefficient of x squared is not positive one then we have to factor out whatever the coefficient of x squared is that's the first thing you must know so I'm going to take out my two okay this two here and then I'm going to open bracket I'm going to use some square brackets just to distinguish my type of brackets that I'm using and I'm going to say 2 into 2 x squared will leave me with a 2 2 will cancel 2 so will leave me with x squared rather okay and then I'm saying 2 into 4x so I will have a positive 2 into 4 goes 2 times so I'm left with a 2x and then I have a negative 6 so I'm saying 2 into negative 6 that goes 3 times so I'll have a negative 3 and I'm closing my bracket there let me use my white to indicate my white bracket so I'm closing up my white bracket there okay and that is equal all of that is equal to 2 into 0 goes 0, okay, because I'm using 2 to factor right through the equation, to divide right through. Now, this is pretty easy. If you notice what's inside the white square brackets now, I have my x, the coefficient of x squared is now 1. So now I can just go ahead quickly and I can say I am taking a half. Let's do our workings over here, okay, and it's always safe to do your workings. It helps you to it well it guides you just in case you made an error you can always check back so now my b is really two okay so i'm taking a half of b and i'm going to square that okay guys and i'm taking really a half of two a half of two all squared and that is equal to one all squared cool so now basically what I'll be doing I'm just gonna be bringing down my 2 here bring it down and I'm going to open my square brackets again and here I'm going to add my 1 square to my middle term and I'm going to subtract it from my n term that's all I'm doing it's it's really that easy guys cool so I'm going to say x squared plus 2x and I'm going to add this one square to my middle term. My middle term is 2x. So plus 1 squared minus 3, this 3, this negative 3. And then I'm going to subtract this from my n term here. Minus, and I have a positive 1 all squared. Okay, so let me close back my square brackets. Cool. And that must be equal to 0. So I'm going to have it equal 0 there. Cool. Take it back down because I'm working with my quadratics. Now, basically, I can just simplify this. I'm going to bring down my 2. So I'm going to bring down my 2 here. And I'm going to open back my square brackets. OK. And I'm going to say, I'm going to look now for my term. Since I've added the square term to, to the mid, middle term, I'm going to look for my first two square terms. So I'm going to open my bracket here let me open my bracket and I'm going to say X taking out the X and I have a positive one there cool and I'm going to close my bracket now and then I'm going to square all of that cool it's it's really that easy 
I'm just walking you through these things, right? So really what I have, le uh, my, my leftover here is really, uh, let me just work it out for you quickly. I have a negative 3 and I have a negative sign there. So I bring it back down and 1 square, 1 times 1 is 1, okay? And then I'm going to close back my square brackets as easy as that. And all of that is still equal to 0, okay? That is equal to 0. So now if you notice what is happening, in my 2 is multiplying everything inside my square brackets, okay? So let me just simplify this portion that I have out here first. So I'm going to say this is really 2 open my square brackets again. And I'm walking it through walking it through with you step by step so that you don't make any mistakes okay and then I have a x plus 1 all squared x plus 1 all squared okay all squared minus you have a negative 3 minus 3 minus 1 so the signs are the same so I'm going to add and keep my signs so 3 plus 1 is minus 4 okay and then I'm going to close my bracket my square brackets cool and all of that is equal to zero all of that is equal to zero now basically what is happening here and just let me pull it up a little bit for you what is happening here guys is just it's 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 really easy in from here and and let me show you what's really happening. I am saying 2 is multiplying everything inside a bracket now. So I'm going to say 2 times whatever is here. So I'm just going to rewrite this by saying 2 open bracket x plus 1 all squared. Okay. And 2 times this negative 4 will give me a negative 8. Okay. And that is equal to 0. Now I have written this in <coughs> in the form, right? Uh, a open bracket x plus b close bracket all squared minus k, based on what we would have learned from the original lessons. Okay, so let me just bring it back to you. This this here now is in the form a open bracket x plus b all squared plus c okay so we can now complete the square what i'm gonna do i'm going to just solve for x now cool so let me just take this here and solve for x quickly so i am going to say this is 2x let me use another color i'm going to say that this is 2 open bracket x plus 1 all squared minus 8 and that is equal to 0. Now I need to move my a to the next side because I need to solve for x. So I must add a to both sides. So that is 2 open bracket x plus 1 close bracket all squared minus 8 plus 8 and that is equal to 0 plus 8. Okay. Now this positive 8 will cancel that negative 8. So I'm left with 2 open bracket x plus 1 all squared and that is equal to 8 okay guys oh that 8 is ugly let me write it a little better and that is equal to 8 now if you notice 2 is multiplying the bracket so I need to divide through by 2 okay so I'm dividing through by 2 and I must divide the side by 2 so 2 will cancel 2 so I'm really left with x plus 1 all squared okay and that is equal to 4 Alright, so because 2 into itself 1 and 2 into 8 will go 4 times, okay? So let me just pull down this a bit for you. Just pull it up a bit. So basically what you have here now is that we have an x plus 1 all squared and that is equal to 4. Now I need to get rid of the square because I need to get inside here. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides, okay? I'm taking the square root of both sides, but really I'm taking the plus or minus, okay? If you note, a quadratic, we always have two solutions, okay? So what is left here? This square root will cancel that square there. So I'm really left with x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2. 
okay so here on it's very easy I'm going to bring over my one now I have a positive one so I'm going to say x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to I subtracted one from this side so I must subtract one from that side plus or minus 2 okay I know that that negative one will cancel that positive one so really I'm left with x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 2 okay and it is pretty easy all I'm going to be doing now is to say well then basically x is equal to negative 1 plus 2 okay I'm taking my positive or 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 x is equal to x is equal to negative 1 minus 2 okay and we know that here x x is equal to negative 1 plus 2 will leave me with a positive 1 and negative 1 minus 2 will give me a x is equal to negative 3 okay signs are the same you add and you keep your sign and that's it it's 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 that easy okay so our answer would be x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 3 because remember when working with a quadratic when solving a quadratic or we must always have two answers okay two answers for x good now you can always subscribe to this video and you can always leave your comments your questions so that we can clear them up before time okay good 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 bye bye